really nice to meet you all. Move this off the screen. Um, and uh, thanks, Rebecca. I, I didn't know you were going to read the whole bio, which is really funny to come out of session. It's like, this person is all these things. Um, but I'm really uh, just really happy to just spend a little time with you all and just um, share uh, just share a little bit. So I, um, as uh, Rebecca mentioned, I, I teach yoga and um, my, my main uh, sort of like profession is as a musician and um, my uh, meditation and uh, yoga practice uh, seem go hand in hand with uh, artistry and just trying to exist and be in the world. Um, and uh, I thought I would just today would just sort of share some breathing exercises and some mindful movement practice. Um, uh, I think it's, um, there's an interesting relationship to, uh, I'll speak for myself about the body and, you know, we as practitioners uh, spend a lot of time in stillness and in silence. Um, and I'm really grateful for the connection of getting to also move mindfully uh, um, in, a, in addition to uh, practicing and being uh, still and it's sort of I always think for all of us allows us to um, maybe sit more deeply, but also just be present with all the things that are sort of coming up in our systems. We store so much in our bodies and are deep in our connective tissues. Um, and uh, the movement piece uh, for me is just another element to just support us shedding the things that we don't need and getting closer to um, our true selves, each other. Um, so so let's, let's drop right in. Um, I actually thought we would start with a few eye exercises, actually. Um, I feel like um, it's not something that we get to do often, and especially after sitting for a little while, um, uh, I thought we would start there. I also just wanted to say that my uh, Zen teacher is uh, Yoshin David Raiden um, of Ithaca Zen Center, um, he's a student of Sasaki Roshi, um, the Rinzai uh, tradition. So um, I guess folks are pretty comfortable, and yeah, I just think sort of encourage you to be in, if you'd like to sort of stay in seated position in Lotus, that's totally fine. If there's another place position for your legs, uh, feel free to just sort of find a spot that feels good and comfy. Maybe everybody can go ahead and take a second and let's just sort of shift our weight between each of our butt cheeks and kind of just find a nice center spot, even. And then we can go ahead and lengthen our spine, sort of lift up out of our joints, out of our hips. The shoulders be soft away from the ears and just encourage the chin maybe to settle a little bit towards the neck. So just, just settling in a little bit. For the eye exercises, we're gonna um, just try to move only our eyes. So I'll just ask this to try to be as soft and as still as possible in the rest of our body. And for this practice, try to like actually feel the stretch and it shouldn't feel like a strain, which is just sort of like most of the stretches. So you should just feel it, feel it um, enough. So let's start by just looking up. And down, looking up, down, up, down, up, and down. And if anybody's like me, just check in with our neck and our shoulders and just let them know they can be nice and soft for this. Nothing else has to work. And then let's look to the left and the right, left. Right, left, right, left, and right. And then close our eyes, take a moment to settle. And then open our eyes again. Let's look to the upper left, lower right, upper left, lower right, upper left, lower right, upper left. And lower right. And now look to the upper right, lower left, upper right, lower left. Try and get a good stretch here. Upper right, lower left, upper right, and lower left. And go ahead and let's rub our hands together. Just sort of get a little life force energy, life force energy into our hands. Be nice and warm. And then we can just place our hands over our closed eyes and take a breath here. And out. 
Okay, lovely. Let's um, let's move on. We're gonna do a breathing exercise that we're gonna use for um, kind of a, a big chunk of this. And I'm just gonna call this a tidal breath for today. And um, the so we'll we'll start with we'll start with the breath practice, and I'll sort of explain um, each step. So again, just sort of take a second. We're settled into our bodies. Um, if it feels good, we can have our eyes closed or just kind of lower our gaze away from the screen. And we'll start by just feeling our breath as it is. You know, just witnessing it. And I'll encourage us just to witness it without judging it just noting its state in this moment. And then our next inhale, I think you're gonna make it a little longer. Each inhale, just a little bit longer. Take up a little more space. If it's helpful to have a visual, we can imagine sort of the tide going out with each, each inhale. Just taking in a little more air each time. Once we sort of found our edge for this, we can do the same thing with the exhales. So now we have our long inhale, exhale, each one getting a little bit deeper, letting out more air. If it's helpful, we have a visual and think about each breath, each exhale, the tide going out a little bit more. Taking our time. Each exhale getting a little longer, matching our inhale. Once we find our edge, should feel we have full, we get belly, nice big full belly uh, inhale. And a deep and long exhale, letting as much air out as we can. So inhale together. And exhale out. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna add some movement to this breath. So the next inhale, see if we can allow our arms to move up with us as we inhale. And when we get to the exhale, let the arms come down. Do our best, let the breath come first. Inhale, and then arms come up. Almost as if the breath is what's moving our arms. And then we exhale, and let the arms come down. Inhale, the arms follow. Shoulders be nice and soft. Exhaling, the arms come down. Let's do a few more of these on our own. So let the breath move our arms. Be as fully in our bodies as we can. Everything else can be soft. Couple more. Start with the breath, let the body follow.
One more. Beautiful. And we can let our arms rest for a moment. I'm sure with this, some of us uh, probably noticed that there's a little bit of a pause. We get to the end of our exhale before the inhale comes. And it's just a part of our breath and we can sort of allow that to sort of move us. And so maybe there's like a little pause in our movement and then it keeps going as we're moving. So we're gonna add this, um, this practice in with um, some other movements. So we'll do something very similar where we're just gonna be, try to be guided by the breath. And I'll just say before we do a few of these, we'll do less movement and just so we can have a moment, just like we did with, the, with this upper and downward motion to just kind of feel it for a little while. And, um, and so we won't just do like a, a bunch of stretches. We'll just, just stay with each for a little bit. And then I'll just encourage us as we do with everything, um, you know, just listen to your body. That's the nice thing about the breath is just use the breath to sort of guide what's the extension and the range of our motion for whatever we're doing. Um, and if you don't even have to look at me, you know, so just like follow my voice and do the thing that you're thinking that you're hearing and just let your breath tell you what that's gonna look like and feel like um, for, for the next several minutes is that, that's what I encourage. Okay, so we'll start with our head and our neck. Um, so just go ahead and allow that tidal breath to come back. So nice full inhale, maybe it's filling up our whole front body. And nice exhale. Letting it come down our back body. So one more of those. Nice inhale. Big tide coming in. Long exhale. Tide going out. We'll inhale. We'll start with some neck rolls. So starting with the inhale breath first, we're just going to roll. The head around and up. And on the exhale, come around and roll down. Inhale, roll the head up. Try to just move the head here. Be careful with the back of the neck. Just go extend as far as the body would like today. Exhale, come down. Breath first. Inhale. Then rolling up. Exhale, rolling down. Encourage your shoulders to soften and relax down if that's helpful. Let's switch directions. Inhale, rolling up. Let the breath move us. Exhale, coming down. Inhaling up. Exhale, come down. One more to the side. Inhale first, come up. And exhale down. This time just settle our left uh, ear to our left shoulder. Other side wrong. Let's inhale here. Exhale, can that sh sh uh, ear just release any more into the shoulder? Then go ahead and inhale our left arm our, around. So we're sort of gently placing our left hand onto our right cheek. Exhale here, releasing the shoulder down and tilt to the left. And then we'll gently inhale our right arm up, reaching it out away from the body. And exhale, sinking a little bit more with the left side of the body towards the left. Inhale here. Exhale, if we're feeling this and it feels good and we want a little bit more, we can tilt a little bit more to the left and lift, um, make elongate our spine and open our chest a little bit. This is feeling like a little too much, just release it and let it go. So just find where we are with this. And let's just be just with the breath, just for a few breaths here. So inhale. 
Exhale. Find a good place for that right arm. Maybe it's a little closer to the ground. Maybe it's a little bit higher. Inhale, tie it in. And exhale, come out of that. So just release the head, find our neutral, release the arm. And let's do the other side. So inhaling, nice long spine, release that right ear to the right shoulder. Exhaling, bringing that arm up, right arm up to the left cheek. And for this, we're just trying to be as gentle as possible. So it's not a pull, just allowing the natural weight of our arm to give us a nice neck stretch here. Inhale, open up the chest a little bit. Exhale, draw the shoulders down away from the ears and tilt to the right. Inhaling, left arm straight out. Exhale, sink a little bit more to the right if that feels good or just stay where we are. Inhaling here, find a happy place for the arm, good height. Gets a little bit lower, you should feel the stretch a little bit more, a little bit higher as a release. Two more breaths on your own, just feeling into our neck with our breath. And then next exhale, just release that. We'll do one more um, stretch with the neck. Um, I feel like I, I think a lot of us store a lot in our neck and our shoulders. So let's just reach our um, arms straight up and then just reach, reach, reach your left arm, reach, reach, reach up with the right arm. And then just clasp the hands together and we're gonna bring them behind um, at the base of our head. And then with an inhale, open up the chest, extend those elbows towards each other, themselves, towards each other. <laughs> and with an exhale, folding the head back down and let the elbows come towards each other and release. So again, not pulling on the neck, just letting the weight of our arm naturally support the stretch. Inhaling into the back of our neck. Exhale, let the head sink. Inhaling, encouraging the spine to be nice and long as we lift up a little bit, shoulders soft. Exhale, release the head, release the elbows. One more breath here, breathe into the shoulders and the neck. And exhale, release that. And then let's just do a little bit with our shoulders. So starting with the breath, we'll inhale, bring the right shoulder up towards our ear, exhaling, rolling it back. Inhaling up, exhale back. So I know we're going really slowly here, so the idea is just that the breath is priority. We're feeling into that inhale up. And we're really just kind of feeling what's happening when we're doing this motion. Exhale, come down. One more time on this side. Check in with our neck and our head. Make sure everything else is just relaxed and soft. Exhale, come down. And then switch to the other, other side. Inhale, roll that shoulder up. Following the breath, exhale, squeeze and down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, come down. What's the range of our shoulder? What's the range on this side today? Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. One more on this side. Breath first, inhale up. And exhale, come down. Great. And then I think we all have room for this. Well, I'm going to slide back just a little bit. We'll inhale and um, bring our arms up alongside our ears, palms facing towards each other. 
and then just arch back. And exhale first, fold forward over our legs. And take a nice big breath here. Maybe our head touches the ground. Maybe it's just suspended in the air. With the breath, we'll try to just release as much as we can here. So take a nice big breath into our lower back, inhaling. And exhale. Release the upper body towards the floor a little bit more. Send an inhale into our whole back. And with the last exhale, does that help our body release into the floor towards the ground anymore? And then breath first, inhaling, coming all the way up. We can leave our arms down and just let the head be last. So it's just coming up nice and slowly. So I wanted to just do, I see we're coming up to the, the end of our usual time here. I wanted to do one more activity, if that's okay, uh, Rebecca uh, and everybody. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to offer uh, this uh, heart, heart press uh, um, exercise. Um, and then I would love to know just how I, how any of this <laughs> felt, hopefully, um, hopefully somewhat, somewhat useful um, or supportive. Um, so this, so this is this practice. We'll we can have our eyes closed or just lower our gaze, whatever feels comfortable. Um, adjust your seat if that feels good. You've been sitting for a minute, and then we're going to place our hand on our heart, and we'll start with an inhale. On the exhale, we're just going to add like five percent pressure with our palm into our heart, just very gentle. Inhale, release. Exhale, gently press the heart. This is a somatic releasing exercise. Inhale, release the hand, release the pressure. Exhaling, gentle press, maybe try 10%, see how that feels. This can be supportive for anxiety. It's good for calming technique. Inhale, release pressure. Let's do a few more times. Exhale, play with between five and 10% pressure. See which one you're appreciating in this moment. Inhale, release. Exhaling, heart press. Inhale, release. I'll let you just do two on your own without my voice. And we can let that go when we're ready. So uh, thank you so much for just letting me share those few things with you all. I know we we sort of um, time goes by pretty quickly, um, but I love to hear how, how any of that felt. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much.